Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but mainly the good morning goes to all those who have subscribed, not to anyone else. Thanks for coming on the channel and helping it grow. Well, people, what's going on? I've received quite a lot of emails. I have. Now, I can point out, because I was able to go in, I got a... Um, Welcome, Susie. This is a perfect time to eat that bone, isn't it? Good boy. So I got an email this morning um, from PayPal saying, could you please go into the... Go into the, your resolution center and fix something. So I went in. And I will point it out. I won't mention your second name. But Judith, a woman called Judith, who's clearly a subscriber, uh, donated money through PayPal to my uh, account. The email that she attached to it was she thought it was a scam. She thought that it hadn't come to me and it was going to a scammer instead. The truth is, Judith, I do appreciate it. I've refunded your I've refunded your money. It had come into my PayPal, but I sent it back just to clear up all, all issues. Listen, guys and girls, if you think it's going to a scammer, just get in touch with me. Let me know. Post a message. Send me an email at trevorcoldmc at hotmail.co.uk and hopefully, hopefully, the real Trevor will respond to you. So what's going on? Well, there's quite a few things I'd like to point out. One of them is Pfizer, the ones that make the vaccine. Well, I've watched videos now, uh, undercover videos done by uh, Project Veritas in the US who actually filmed one of the top guys at Pfizer who works for the vaccine, filmed him discussing that Pfizer had deliberately, deliberately give out a vaccine, right, just to test on people, to see what their reactions were, and they don't know. Um, it's disgusting. I'm actually quite shocked that Pfizer company has not been taken to court and sued, and people that work for it being jailed. Uh, it's quite clear now that whether there was a pandemic or not, I'm not sure, but it's quite clear now that a company deliberately messed around with vaccines just to see what it would do to human beings. It's quite shocking. Yes. Which leads me on to the next thing. Don't understand this. I've just read a tweet from a chief inspector in Wales saying, it's about time now that we deleted and we stopped listening to the song Delilah by Tom Jones. Ready? Uh... The police say that it uh, depicts the murder of a woman by a jealous partner. And two women a week are killed by partners in Wales. So we need to delete that song. Well, Tom Jones, Sir Tom Jones, little did you know that that effect would have, that your song would have an effect on people. I think it's disgusting the way the police are policing what we can listen to now, what we say, the thought police. Not very many police officers in Wales going after grooming gangs, is there? Trying to stop child rape and paedophilia. No, there's not, is there? Yes, but let's not listen to songs. Yeah, meatloaf. Poor guy's not here anymore, isn't it? Like a bat out of hell. I wonder how bats feel about that, knowing that people think they come from hell. They're nice creatures, actually. Quite, sh yeah. And crocodile tears. We need to get rid of Jimmy Neal's song, Crocodile Tears, don't we? Crocodile shoes. Wow. Imagine crocodiles getting upset, the fact that People are walking around singing crocodile shoes with their... It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Yesterday, I had a couple of teachers. You know what? Millions of teachers. Only two complained. I work really hard. Well, let me tell you something. Don't we all? Don't we all work hard? Yes. Yes. Just stick to teaching. Stick to teaching. Yes, I know you want higher wages. Everyone wants higher wages. Some teachers went on strike, others didn't. I hope you get the wages that you want. There's nothing I want to see more is going to my son's school and seeing all the teachers driving Bentleys and Ferraris. That's what we aim for. Yeah. Maybe go and work in a private school. Get higher wages. Mm. But there we go, people. What else is happening? Rishi Sunak was interviewed by Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan asked him that question. Prime Minister, what is a woman? He went, well, it's obvious, isn't it? It's an adult human female. Yes, it is. Even the Prime Minister can tell you exactly. Keir Starmer can't. Keir Starmer can't. 
But at least Rishi can. Is he trying to save his career? He doesn't need a career. If I was worth 700, 600 million pounds, you wouldn't see me going through all that pressure underneath that pressure just, just for people to be jeered at. I just go and chill with my Rolex watch on and my, a nice yacht, which I'm sure he has. But uh, quite a few things going on in today, isn't there? Right. Let me get this right. Military, United Kingdom military expert, General Sir Richard Barnes, yep, General Sir Richard Barnes has come out and stated this. The British Army is no longer a top tier fighting force. We haven't got the equipment. We are, we're about to go less than 76,000 men. In fact, you know what? I've got more subscribers than there is in the whole of the British Army. Isn't that wonderful? Beep, beep. So we can never, we can't do it now. We've given away so much. We've cut away. This is our defence, our defence minister, uh, Ben Wallace. He's now the guy in charge. We've given away our defence budgets. We've given away our heavy guns, our Apaches, our Challengers, our artillery pieces. We Last year, we trained 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers in the United Kingdom while recruitment for our own British Army was going downhill. We filled empty... Thanks to Leo Doherty, who's the MP for Aldershot, we filled empty military homes in Aldershot with Ukrainians. We put Ukrainian injured veterans in our hospitals, right? All this is happening while there was 10,000 complaints from service families about the state of their accommodation. Recruitment levels the British Army were dropping. Units were being disbanded and we were giving away our defence budget to another country while we have over 5,000 homeless veterans in the UK. And you tell me now that the current government give a shit about the people. Comments below. What else has been happening? Gary Gary Neville. I like Gary Neville. He used to be a defender for Man United. Or midfield. There we go. Uh, him and his brother. But the weird thing is, right, a Man United footballer that was up for alleged rape, assault, many things called Mason Greenwood, yesterday got cleared of all charges under new evidence. One of the lawyers tweeted about Mason Greenwood has now been, uh, all kids, all things have been dropped. He's now an, an innocent man. He's now an innocent man. All Gary Neville did was actually like that tweet that a Man United star had been cleared of all charges. He was descended on by women's rights groups. How dare you this? Do you, do you endorse women's? No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm happy that he's been cleared. Wow. Poor Gary had to put out a statement defending the tweet that he liked. That's just that. I wouldn't have put out a statement. I'd have went bollocks to you. Listen, I like the fact that this guy who plays for the team that I played for has been cleared. Had he been found guilty, I'd have liked the fact he'd been found guilty. But at least the case is over with. That's all Gary was trying to say. Uh, now we go back to the politician side of things. Did you know that Shell Oil have just announced their biggest profits in 115 years? Biggest profits. They made 40 billion in profit throughout the pandemic. 40 billion profit. Wow. While, while, while some pensioners died at home, not being able to afford to heat their homes. He's enjoying that boom. It's absolutely. And do you know what? Our politicians let it happen. So basically, what happened was. They said it's it's the it's the war between Ukraine and, and Russia have made the prices go through the roof. Oil never stopped coming. You know that oil never once stopped coming to the UK. It never that war. Yes, that war. It just meant there was no one sinking oil tankers in the sea. No, there wasn't. No, it was between Russia and Ukraine on land. But they lied to us. They said we have to put the prices up because it's going to be hard to get. It wasn't hard to get. They, not one ship was slowed. It kept continuing to come, yet the prices went through the roof. It is absolutely disgusting. And you know what? I actually thought it was illegal, illegal for a company to profit during war. Well, that's quite clear that that's happened and there's been nothing done to stop shell oil. Terrible. Right. Now, I know you're all asking me an email to Harry and Megan. You're all asking me. I'm pushing it away. But what I will say is, Guess what? 
Two days ago, Ellen renewed her wedding vows to her wife, Portia. Yes, yes. And in the background, clapping and wooing, Harry and Meghan were invited to Ellen and Portia's wedding vow renewal union. So they were there as a couple, as a couple. Well, they were there as a couple, but they were in separate parts of the room, believe it or not, which is a bit strange, but there we go. Well, people, listen, thanks very much for the uh, the messages, the emails. Uh, keep it coming. Uh, keep supporting other smaller YouTubers. Um, yes, tomorrow, Saturday, I find out tomorrow if I get my channel remonetized. But because it's Saturday, I'm going to say they'll probably wait till Monday or Tuesday. Uh, nothing's done at a fast, at a fast action at YouTube artists. But we'll see where it goes. So I'm going to end this by saying one thing. Another channel out there, which I watched again. Queen Gertie. If you haven't subscribed to Queen Gertie, go and have a look at her channel. She's actually quite an intelligent woman and very, very humorous. And I enjoy watching her stuff. So that's another YouTuber that could do with a bit of a shout out. Yeah. Now here's the thing. You all support her. Her channel will lift. And then she'll give someone else a shout out and she'll help lift up another YouTuber as well. Listen, people, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Take care. But most of all, stay safe.